President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. explains that China's new policy of threatening to detain Filipino fisher folk in the West Philippine Sea is different and very worrisome. This, as Beijing earlier authorizes China Coast Guard to detain suspected trespassers within its claimed borders for up to 60 days without trial. But uh, the, the new policy of uh, uh, threatening to detain our own citizens, uh, that is a different, that is an escalation of the situation. So yes, it is now very much. President Marcus Jr., however, assures the public that the government is on its best effort in peacefully resolving the issues in disputed waters. So, if it, I, as any, any point of contact that I can establish, I will, I will, I will use it. Um, yeah, at, at every end, at every level, at the, at the, at the, at the, at the leader's level, uh, at the ministerial, some ministerial, private, uh, as long as uh, as long as it gives us brings us progress in terms of resolving these uh, and you know to, first of all to number one to stop the aggressive actions such as water cannoning and lasers and um, barrier putting etc. On the other hand, the chief executive says China's fishing ban within their claimed maritime territory is nothing new. The Philippine Coast Guard also monitors no enforcement of the said policy by China. Based on the data gathered by the PCG in previous days, it shows that China is not serious in the implementation of the ban in the West Philippine Sea. Kung seryoso talaga ang China kung mag-enforce ng fishing ban at ng kanilang upcoming regulation, they should have beefed up no? or boost additional number of Coast Guard vessels na deploy dito. Pero ang sabi ko pa nga, no? um, in an annual, um, in an average, no? oh, the number of Coast Guard vessels that are deployed in Bajo de Masilo are uh, four vessels. Pero ngayon, dalawa lama. With this, the PCG reiterates that China's fishing ban is illegal and has no lawful basis. Since our stand is that we don't um, recognize ang uh, ganitong uh, fishing ban uh, binanggit ng China, um, there's no reason for us to uh, prevent or uh, to advise our Filipino fishermen not to be engaged in uh, fishing in these areas. A group of fisher folks, meanwhile, plans to conduct collective fishing expedition in the West Philippine Sea tomorrow to stand for their right to fish, especially within the country's exclusive economic zone. Asher Kadapan Jr., UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.